Welcome back. Today in lesson four, you are going to be introduced to the backpack, quote unquote. You're going to be able to download and save an image from, you guessed it, kidssearch.com. You'll be able to upload that image into a scratch document and you will be able to alter the image you uploaded. So it probably comes as no surprise to you that one of the first things children will say when they start working with scratch is, they don't have what I'm looking for. My story has this or my story has that. And one of my favorite tools in Scratch as a teacher is this function where you're able to upload literally any image they can think of. Um, it really helps with students who can be a little persnickety uh, when it comes to finding what it is they're looking for uh, and just need it to be extremely accurate uh, and detailed. So for those children, you have kid search. So that's great. Uh, so they're running into the sandbox and, you know, one of these kids might say, yeah, but our sandbox has a sandcastle bucket in it. You know, like I want to, I want it to be accurate. I want it to have that sandcastle bucket. Well, now you have an avenue to make that a reality. So under sand or under kid search, you're going to type in sandcastle bucket. And then in the cursor here, and then you can click images. So it's important to click images. Otherwise, you're just going to get a whole lot of words that you don't need. And after you click images, you'll have all these different things come up. And so you can scroll through and see, okay, we've got a bunch of buckets here. And... All right, well, didn't quite see what I was looking for, so maybe let's just try sand bucket instead of sand castle bucket. Ah, there's the one that I wanted. It looks just like the one in our sandbox. So I'm gonna click here, and I'm going to save image to downloads. So you can see it pop up down here in downloads, and these pictures do not always work, so I let students know that. It's not always gonna work. Sometimes you'll have to try a different image but then we can come back into the recess story. And right here, you can say upload sprite or character from file. And now you can go into downloads and your image should be here and it should say JPEG and the JPEG. Then you're gonna click open. And JPEG means there's a good chance it'll come up. So now that we have it in here, you can alter the image by going to costumes. So now they're going to want to get rid of all this white around it. So you can go into costumes and you can make it larger by clicking the plus sign here and then go to the eraser and make the eraser larger. And then you can get rid of this white. And as you do it, you'll notice it's going to get rid of it over here on the screen. You can go around and I'm going to go quick here and I normally go faster with the students too, but let them know, you know, this is something where they can really take their time and have it be, uh, very close to, you know, work around all those edges. Oops, I made a mistake. I want to come up and click undo, and you'll notice, okay, it appeared back. So every time you click, uh, it'll undo what you just did. So sometimes I encourage students to, as they're working, click so that it doesn't undo everything like you just saw it do there for me. So again, I'm not going to get it perfect here. Um, then I want to go back to scripts. And one of the other things that you'll hear is, oh, that person doesn't look like me anymore. Oh, I don't want them to pretend to be a bat anymore. So what they can do, what students can do is put their work in the backpack. So you see it says backpack here. You can click this arrow. And then you can click and drag. They can click and drag the code that they have written into the backpack. And they can get a new character. So let's say they wanted the black bat instead. Click OK. Now, not all of this code is going to work, right? They're going to have to come in and change switch costume bat 1A2 because under costumes, there is no bat 1A2. This is bat 2A and bat 2B. So you can explain that to them and let them know that you know these things will need to be changed. But their work, for the most part, where they want it to go and what they want it to do should stay the same. So let's just run this quick and test it. So you can see I'm running them together to show that for the most part, the bats are going to do, or the new character is going to do what the old character did. 
And in this case, since uh, this bat doesn't really have a full face that faces to the left or right, it really didn't change much at all. And again, you can always come in here and delete it later. Okay, that was a quick one.